Well, pornogra pornography does because <laughs> um, when you're studying human sexual arousal in, in a laboratory setting, uh, the most efficient and cheapest way to achieve it is to show pornography, although it isn't called pornography. Um, it's called visual erotic stimulation, VES. So, um, but that makes it difficult for uh, a researcher. Sometimes when they're trying to, they're submitting their grant proposal and they mention, you know, any sort of erotic imagery, and it turns out that what they're doing is showing pornographic clips. Then the people, you know, the universities get um, a little skittish, and people start asking questions. And you know, I did encounter researchers who, who were turned down, or or the and the or the universities sort of called them aside and said, "Look, to what's going on here?" Because they thought there was some sort of weird voyeuristic thing going on. And uh, anyway, I don't know if that was really what you were getting at with pornography, but pornography, it, it, you know, it's, it was funny. I asked one of the researchers, because um, I was a subject in one of these studies, and they had this clip. It was this rather, um, I mean, pornography is pretty badly edited anyway, but this is really like they're trying to get every possible kind of like uh, penetration and oral and, anal, you know, everything in this clip. So they just sort of s spliced a bunch from different movies and then... <laughs> It follows the neutral stimulus, which is you know a plane taking off or a, a ship in a harbor. It, it, it's the most. It was the most surreal thing to be sitting there watching it. Um, anyway, I don't know where I was going with this, but um, oh, and I asked the re I said to the researcher, well, is there a special um, company that you order these films, these these film clips for? Because it's you know scientific research. You you, you can't just order them can't go down to the local porn shop. And they said, are you nuts? Of course we do. We go down. <laughs> That's where we get them. You know, and then we turn in our expenses and get reimbursed. And the other thing that's happening with pornography that is, uh, I was just actually interviewing a pornographer in, this is for something entirely different, uh, in Spain. And uh, in, over in Europe now, uh, the pornography producers are uh, very much connected with the, the, t the telephone companies because it's all coming in on cell phones and iPhones and things and it's little tiny clips. It's totally changed the industry. They're now not doing whole movies with, you know, known stars. It's just, you know, three minute shots of sexual, there's no plot. They don't, so the industry's totally different. And the, the amazing thing was that the, um, the telephone companies in Europe, not here, but it hasn't started happening here. Telephone companies are a little wary of, you know, of censure from, um, conservative groups, but uh, it's, it's really changed in Europe and um, certainly would make it easier for the, uh, the scientists who are doing arousal studies because just download ABCD and you've got your four little clips.